Hey guys, welcome to the channel. When it comes to telescopes, the aperture is the most important factor. But even if you have the biggest aperture and the mount of your telescope is not good, then you will not get excellent results from your telescope. If you want great results, then a sturdy and stable mount will definitely improve your overall stargazing experience. So, having a good sturdy mount that can move smoothly without any vibrations to guide your telescope to the targeted object is ideal. If you are thinking of buying a mount, then you'll come across so many different types of mounts. You might get overwhelmed and confused with all these different types of mounts available in the market. So, in this video, we will look into all the main types of mount which are commonly used. Basically, there are two main types of mounts. One is alt azimuth mount, and the second is equatorial mount. But in this video, we will see five different types of mounts, which come under one of these types of mount. All these mounts come in computerized and manual type as well. The first mount is the alt azimuth mount. This is the most basic type of mount. It is simpler and most affordable compared to other types of mounts. This mount has two planes of motion. One is vertical, which is called altitude, and the other is horizontal, which is called azimuth. Hence the name altitude azimuth mount. Many times in short form, it's called an alt as mount or a Z mount. Manual alt as mounts have knobs so you can adjust altitude and azimuth. If you buy a really good quality AZ mount, then it will have slow knobs, which will help you to track the targets very precisely. Nowadays, you can also get computerized alt as mounts, which make it easier to track the objects. One of the biggest disadvantages of the alt as mounts is that they don't rotate along the axis of the Earth, so it is very difficult to track the celestial bodies with the same pattern they are following. Because of this, alt as mounts are not the preferred choice of astrophotography. During astrophotography, you need long exposures, and as the Earth rotates around its own axis, after every 60 seconds, the celestial object is at a different position. So tracking the object and keeping it in the frame at a similar angle for a longer duration becomes very difficult with alt azimuth mount. The second mount is an equatorial mount. The equatorial mount is the second main type of mount. It was invented in 1800, long before alt as mounts. Even though it's an old style mount, it is more advanced than the basic alt as mount. In short form, the equatorial mount is referred to as an EQ mount. The equatorial mounts can rotate around its axis to match the rotation of the Earth. Because of this, the targeted celestial object can always be followed without losing its position, keeping them perfectly centered in the frame. For beginners, initially equatorial mounts will be quite difficult to use. But if you want to do astrophotography and capture beautiful images of deep space objects, then you must know how to use an equatorial mount. As there's not much light in space, you need long shutters to capture as much light as possible for this. Your telescope must follow the celestial object keeping it perfectly in the frame. Only then you'll be able to capture a sharper and detailed image of that faint distant object. If you want to be an astrophotographer, then you must know how to use an equatorial mount. Equatorial mounts can be manual or computerized, but computerized ones will be quite expensive. They both have almost similar advantages. If you have a higher budget, then a computerized equatorial mount can be really helpful. You can use this mount to track celestial bodies automatically, which improves your overall experience. The third is the German equatorial mount. There are many types of equatorial mounts, such as German equatorial mount, fork equatorial mount, equatorial platform, etc. Out of this, German equatorial mount is quite popular and used by lots of people. The difference between the equatorial mount and the German equatorial mount is that the German equatorial mount is capable of handling a wide variety of telescope assemblies. The German equatorial mount has more counterweights and just by changing the position of the counterweights, you can mount and balance any telescope on the German equatorial mount. German mount can generally carry a heavier load than a normal equatorial mount. German equatorial mounts can easily handle the long tubes of refractors and Newtonian telescopes. Fourth is Dobsonian mount. The Dobsonian mount is just another variation of the alt azimuth mount. The Dobsonian mounts allow you to fit much larger telescopes than what you'd normally fit on a regular alt azimuth mount. The Dobsonian mount is usually used for the bigger sized Dobsonian telescopes. This mount has one box-like part which rotates in a full circle and sits on the sturdy base. The other part is a pivot point on the top of this box where the optical tube is attached which gives you the full range of vertical motion. They're easy to make and if you're into do-it-yourself stuff, with the minimum cost you can easily make a decent manual Dobsonian mount at home itself. Fifth is fork mount. 
Nowadays, fork mounts are getting very popular for their ease of use and versatility. You can also call these mounts hybrid mounts. They are available in the single fork and double fork. If you've seen the Celestron Nexstar series, all of them are single fork mounts. If you use a wedge with this mount, then you can easily convert this Alt-As mount into an equatorial mount, and then these fork mounts are very much useful for astrophotography. While using fork mount, there are some drawbacks compared to German equatorial mount. The fork mount is less stable when compared to the German EQ mount. Also, using this mount with a different size telescope might be difficult compared to the German EQ mount. Also, most of these fork mounts are sold with the telescope only. So, that's it. These are some of the most common types of mounts that are frequently used. Out of all these types of mounts, the German equatorial mount is usually considered the best as they offer quite good stability and can be used with different telescopes. However, this video was to educate you about different types of mounts. If you are a beginner, then you do not need to worry about which type of mount you want. You just need to get started with your astronomy journey with whatever budget you have. But if you are someone who is interested in astrophotography, then keep in mind at some point in your journey, you must have to learn how to use these equatorial mounts. There are some mounts mentioned in the description of this video. You should check them out. And I hope this video helped you to understand telescope mounts. And thank you for watching.